What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Commander uh, video here on magicthegathering.org slash uh, UK slash Mike B slash happy. And make sure you guys in the comments down below, make sure you wish Mike B a happy birthday today. It's his birthday today. Please don't. It's not. And, uh, nope, it's definitely not. It's definitely trying to just make it the best birthday he's ever had, guys. It's painful. Mitchell, glad you appreciated the play map. Today we are playing a Chromat list, uh, courtesy of uh, Cassius himself, Cassius0825, otherwise known as Aaron. And uh, we got Chromat in the sideboard. Chromat is a five color commander. <clears throat> it's a five, five for five. A lot of symmetry there with five abilities. Uh, destroy target creature blocking or blocked by Chromat. Uh, Chromat gains flying until end of turn. Regenerate Chromat, gets plus one, plus one, or you can put it on top of its owner's library. That's a lot of things. That is a lot of things. <clears throat> and to start off, we're going to try a Nestle Big Turk that was sent in a care package from the Ludus Games, if you guys remember a while back. We're still trying a bunch of the candy from this thing. And uh, here, do you want to just break these three off, these top three? Sure. Oh, God, we've made a mistake. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, this is a weird... Okay, this is much weirder than I thought it was. I'm just... Be careful with the chocolate. Because I don't want to get Hunter. Okay, so... <clears throat> this is what it looks like. It's like a jelly inside of the chocolate. It's like chocolate with like a jelly interior. It's very weird. I was not expecting this at all. How do you feel about it? Oh god. It's kind of weird. It tastes like... A jujube inside of a chocolate. It tastes like a chocolate covered jujube. Not terrible. But it is weird. It's not terrible and it is weird. I think that's the perfect description. <laughs> Big Turk. Not terrible, but weird. Oh, it's got a weird like... Hmm. What is Turkish Delight? I don't even know what that is. Hmm. Ah, now it makes sense. Ah, that does make sense. I actually didn't know what that was. <clears throat> so that's my bad. That was my unfamiliarity with that particular confection. That is amazing. Okay, well, that's something. <laughs> I'm just going to have an entire line of oddly old-timey ethnic slur-sounding candy bars like a drunk Mick. Yeah, the Nestle drunk Mick. All right, well, that was an experience right there. <clears throat> yeah, not terrible, but weird. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I just learned what Turkish Delight is. So that's amazing. <coughs> Alright, you ever play Chromat? I've never played a Chromat. So this is basically an art, this is an enchantment based deck, right? That just has Chromat as their commander, I would imagine. Let's find out. Also, like I said, guys, if you want to join our game, if you want to play in the game tonight, uh, be sure to add me. Send me a message on Magic Online and I will add you to my friends list because <coughs> the only people invited are... You gotta be my friends list to join the game, so... Um, okay, so Enlightened Tutor obviously searches. Vampiric Tutor obviously searches. Burgeoning. Whenever an opponent plays a land, you may put a land from your hand on the battlefield. It's a good one. Exploration. Mm -hmm. More lands. Sol Ring. Standard. Okay. Now this is Commander. Wow. Blind Obedience. Uh, artifacts and creatures enter the battlefield tapped, and you can extort. That's a good one. Really annoying. Greater Oromancy. Other enchantments you control have Shroud. Enchanted creatures you control have Shroud. Also annoying, I think. Luminarch Ascension, kind of a nice win condition. At the beginning of each opponent's end step. So, one thing I ne I've never actually experienced. Um, <coughs> T. Jesse, just got your request. I will add you as a buddy. Uh, one thing I've never realized about the Ascension cards is that if you're playing like a four-player game, uh, by the time it gets to your turn, you might actually have this online, right? If you play on turn two, it's like insane. Yeah, because they're like, dude, 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 counter, counter, counter. Oh, uh, it's Jim Cameron's money. Have I not added you, Jim? I, Jim, you already added, buddy. 
Ludus Games, you're already you're already in. All right, so Sunny Silence, main deck, interesting, right? Hmm. I guess there's no sideboards, so. Mm. For those who missed it, I'm also drinking some hot chocolate out of a big Marvel mug. Demonic Tutor, pretty good. Standard. <clears throat> Argothian Enchantress, pretty standard. This is probably one of the stronger Enchantresses because of her Shroud. Uh, Fertile Ground, very good. Sylvan Library, good. El Eladomri's Call, seems fine. Just a tutor for a creature. Mm -hmm. uh, Sterling Grove, a tutor for enchantment and giving your enchantment Shroud. Pretty much standard. Uh, and fertile. This is basically just a fertile ground with Shroud, right? Mm -hmm. So nothing stands out to me as being out of place. Anything stand out to you where you're like, oh, no. Okay. Ghostly Prison, mm -hmm. obnoxious. Idyllic Tutor, also an enchantment tutor. Tons of enchantment tutors so far. I think we have like three. Uh, well, four if you count Demonic Tutor, right? Five if you count Vampire. So we have Enlightened, Vampiric, Demonic, uh, Sterling Grove, and Idyllic. So it's a lot of tutors. <coughs> Karmic Justice. Whenever a spell or ability an opponent controls destroys a non-creature permanent you control, you may destroy a target non-permanent target permanent that but opponent controls. So uh, if they destroy one of your enchantments, you get your Karmic Justice. Spirit of Resistance. As long as you control a permanent of each color, permanent all damage that will be dealt to you. Hmm. Might as well just play Coalition Victory then, right? No, that's not legal. <laughs> See? I knew it. Spirit of Resistance. Three mana as long as you control a permanent uh, prevent all damage. That we, that's the one I just read. Okay. Tevary's Projection. Also a very, very solid card. Three mana until your next turn. Your life total can't change and your protection from everything. You basically become Progenitus. All permanents you control phase out. Exiles Tevary's Protection. Aura of Silence. Pretty standard. Otori Shadow. Let me add you, buddy. Done. <coughs> My throat's actually acting up a little bit, which is why I didn't stream earlier today. So in case you guys are wondering why I keep coughing, that is why. Destroy all enchantments. <coughs> which actually gets... If certain more, it's a uh, return all... Yeah, actually, this is this is great if you have threshold. Uh, this is destroy all enchantments, and if you have threshold, you then return all cards in your graveyard destroyed this way. So it's basically like it didn't happen. It's kind of weird, because it's kind of like destroy all enchantments, except for yours. But it mm -hmm. doesn't say that. It's just like, destroy all enchantments, we'll work it out afterwards. <clears throat> uh, Mesa Enchantress, whenever you cast an enchantment, obviously great. All the enchantresses are obviously great. Copy enchantment, perfect. Propaganda, just ghostly prison number two. Ristic study, pretty obnoxious. Imperial recruiter. Okay. Enchantress's presence, whenever you cast an enchantment spell, draw a card. Obviously good again. Song of the Dryads gets rid of everything. Corsair of Crufix, Eternal Witness. Verdure and Enchantress, whenever you cast an enchantment spell, you may draw a card in 02. And then Chromatic Lantern. Academy Rector, <clears throat> perfect. Replenish, return all enchantment cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Perfect. Humility, obnoxiously perfect. I want to see this. I want to see this work on Magic Online because it's a real ridiculous card. Moat, perfect. Collective restraint, basically just ghostly prison slash propaganda. <clears throat> Only counts basic land types and not not just two. Erebos, no mercy. Whenever a creature deals damage to you, destroy it. Eidolon of Blossoms. Whenever Eidolon of Blossoms or another enchantment is battlefield, draw a card. That card is great and standard and supreme verdict. So no day of judgment or damnation, but we have plenty of ways to deal with things. I think. How are you feeling so far? You still with us? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Sphere of Safety. Uh, another ghostly prison effect. Starfield of Nyx. This one's great. It's probably just going to win you the game as long as you control five or more enchantments. Each other non-aura enchantment you control is a creature in addition to its other types. And has base power and base toughness equal to its mana cost. So, turns your things into like 5-5s, five 4-4s, five, four etc. Sigil of the Empty Throne, make an Angels. Treachery, obviously great. Exquisite Blood, whenever an opponent loses life, you gain that much life. Sanguine Bond, whenever you gain life, they lose that much life. This is infinite, right? I think so. So, whenever you gain life, let's say I gain 10. Target opponent loses that much life, so they lose 10. Whenever they lose life, you gain 10. So then they lose 10. And then you gain 10. And then they lose, right? They just kills everybody, right? <clears throat> I think so. Why wouldn't it? I just explained it. I don't know, man. It's too much. I can't think of it. All permanents are enchantments in addition to their other types. That's good. Karanos, obviously good. Mirari's Wake, great. Privileged position. Other permanents you control have Hexproof. Crufix, ya boy. Chromanticore, obviously. This guy's amazing. This is one of my favorite cards in Standard when it was legal. 
Maelstrom Nexus. The first spell you cast each turn has Cascade. Interesting. Then you have Austere Command. Open the vaults, return all artifacts and enchantment cards from all graveyards to the battlefield under their owner's control. Under, under their owner's control. Time Spiral, which is interesting in Commander. War Gate, search lever for a permanent card with converted man cost X or less. <clears throat> Great for a deck focusing on enchantments and Genesis Wave and Omniscience. So, anything you're... This is definitely not going to I think we have to play with to see if anything is unnecessary or what have you. <clears throat> Mana base also looks pretty standard. We have all the dual lands. We have all the fetch lands. Mana base actually looks great. Yeah. Uh, I would probably play Mana Confluence over City of Brass if we only have one of those, right? Because then people can't just tap your City of Brass to deal you damage. I, I think it's just a simple, simple update, but it's good. I think it's a good one. That's a pretty easy, easy fix for me. Is there an Urborg in this deck? Uh, I was hoping there was. I do think Urborg's good, though. It turns on your, like, it makes your Maze of Ith tap for mana. Yeah, it also makes it so you don't have to take damage from uh, your tri lands. So what can we cut for an Urborg? Probably a Swamp. Does the same thing. But Although you can't you can search for, for it. it. Yeah, right. yeah. You can't search for it. Um... <clears throat> <clears throat> Miko Koro? I don't know. Yeah, I can see cutting. Miko I don't Koro. love Miko Koro. It's just too much advantage. Like you're giving four cards out for the for for, for the net of one card. <coughs> Excuse me. You want to add this Urborg instead? No. No. All right. I'm gonna join the play lobby. I'm gonna join. Um, start a game, and you guys can format is Commander players free for all. Buddies and watchers, only my buddies and slow watchers. And if you guys want to join, feel free. If we're not buddies on here, feel free to message me and I will add you to my buddy list. But otherwise, hop in. Two two players with TJs in their name so far. How was your candy spoon? It's pretty good. It's like pure white chocolate peppermint. Do I play paper magic? Yes, I do. <clears throat> I play most forms of magic. Also, we're going to figure out a place to eat after this. All right, let's do it. I hope I <laughs> can just end up destroying everyone's permanence besides his. No offense to the other players. <clears throat> Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. It seems like a snap off. Elk Tears, Happy New Year's, buddy. <clears throat> you don't have an Entrancer's effect, though. Entrancer's effect? I don't know what that means. Like, you don't have any of the draw a card when you play an enchantment card. Oh, in my hand. Right. Oh, Enchantress. Yes. Okay. I don't know what you said there. I thought you said enchant Enchanter's effect. I was like, what's an enchanter? Maybe this is a mall. Well, we got some library. library yeah. <clears throat> and propaganda. Big props. I will keep. Who's playing first? TJ? That's sad. Oh, real soft. Uh, turn one, TJ. Okay. Yield through this. How hung over am I? Not at all. Hung over? Hung over. All right, so we're playing against a Narset, Enlightened Master, a Progenitus. Mm -hmm. Is this ever get cast? Probably not. And a Joda. So two five colors and a four color, or three color. <coughs> we don't need an Enchantress. Library draws us nine cards. That's true. Uh, I have a hot chocolate, and the spoon itself was made of... It was covered in white chocolate, peppermint, so I've just been eating that. Clearly I didn't heat the milk enough to uh, to get it to get it to melt, so. Now it's literally just a spoon with some white chocolate on there. I done messed up. Mitchell, what's going on here, buddy?
All right, we did it. I think. Nope, we're still on real soft cotton. There we go. We figured it out. I was worried. Sword Mitchell two died. Two times fecundity plus war of the wildling for infinite. Two, two World bear. Of, war of the wildling. I don't even know what that is. They're on the other side of the wall. Oh, look at these experts tapping their land so that they can just pass right through. You know what that does? I understand it. <laughs> do you? Yeah, it makes it so they don't have to do worry, they don't have to worry about anything. It just passes the turn. Yeah. <clears throat> Yield through this turn. Sorry, forgot that this is an arena. <laughs> no worries, buddy. No worries. Wow. I just read the Facebook thing. Yeah, that's good. Did Brian just show up earlier, donate 20 bucks, ask about the stip, and then never say anything else? Maybe. That was weird. <clears throat> I feel like our first turn was pretty unimpressive, but it's okay. Everyone had an impressive turn, so that's good. Our commander is Chromat. I'm going to just tap this. I, I never like doing this because... <clears throat> because I worry. There's our commander. It's Cro Oh, God. It's Chromat. You okay, man? Yeah. I just heard a noise coming from your body that didn't seem earthly. <laughs> It's earthly. Earthy? Yeah, earthy. Earthy girthy. Oh man, we're going to have the most exciting turn too. You ready? I can't wait. Why can't it? What's the button to yield through the whole turn when, uh, when you don't have anything to do? Is it eight? I thought it was, I thought it was, I thought it was eight. Oh, there you go. I knew you were going to... God, I was hoping I could get away with it. <laughs> F6 goes through your turn. F8 is don't... I, I think there's... I, th I don't think it's just 6, though. Because I literally hit 6, and it still prompted me when I had nothing else to do. 6 is only one turn. I like that you guys told me 6. Like, I don't know F6. Oh, we're still going. Okay. Yeah, see, like, it's still prompting me. I'm going to hit 6 right now. And we'll see if it... Uh, what is this card? That art is gas. Excel two enchantments or artifacts in basic land cycles? That's amazing. Yeah, it's a pretty good card. That's cool, dude. F8. Okay, 8 is what I was looking for. <clears throat> yeah, see, it's still asking me, because it goes through every turn. It's it, That's the problem. Like, If you press 6, you still have to do it every single turn, which is the problem. I don't want to have to do it three times before I get to my turn. I can just hit F8. We got a Sylvan Library, bro. How do they win? Who knows? They don't. Let's go. Frank and Mike, 2019 resolutions. List them. I want to hear them. No jokes, please. I have none. <clears throat> I don't actually care about resolutions. I think they're kind of silly. But Like, if you want to do something, just do it. You don't have to wait for the year to, to, make, it, to make a life change. That's a good point. But, oh, boy. Let's no, put... man. You got to set your goals. You got to write them down. You got to... Yeah, do that. Do that. Just don't do it because Once the year change. Yeah, right. <clears throat> I like Volcanic Island here because they get us to play a recruiter and, and big props. Recruiter gets us an enchantress. I like that. Uh, what do you want? Encha which one do we want? Probably the two mana one, right? The one with shroud, yeah. Yeah, that's the best one. Not not close. And NA. That's not what that means. All right. So NA. We, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No other friends see there. Yeah, but that's not a saying. So. North Kakalaki.
Yeah, so one thing, I actually bought a tiny amp for my guitar, uh, which I bought right before I left Seattle. I needed a, a, an a, 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 I needed a guitar upgrade, so I bought a uh, Hummingbird Pro acoustic guitar, and I've never taken guitar really seriously. I always just play it and mess around with it and make some cool sounds, but I never really took it very seriously. So I'm actually going to try to take it more seriously, and... Um, I'm also going to try to learn a foreign language. I took two years of Italian in high school and two years of French in college, but none of it stuck. Yeah, I don't think I don't think two years is enough. It's definitely not. But you also have to keep up with it, which I never did. So I'm leaning towards Italian. <clears throat> then you can talk to all the Italian immigrants. There's not that many, are there? Oh, yeah. I think we're just keeping two here. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go snow ring. And then we're going to go fertile. Oh, oh, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wait. Can we not do both? No, we don't have enough green. That's really sad. I mean, we guess we can play both. We can play both if we just play the Enchantress second. That's fine. We'll miss a thing, but... I actually took, like I said, I took two years of French, and it was actually very, very difficult for me. Uh, French is actually not a super easy language to learn. <clears throat> because like it's the way it's spoken and the way the words are pronounced are very I don't want to say unintuitive but it's a tricky language let's make no mistake about that uh, TJ Hunter sure oh Cassie it's awesome really appreciate it or not appreciate it but I'm glad to hear that like there's still like even after taking two years of French, there are still French words that I'm like I don't I cannot remember for the life of me how to pronounce this word, because <clears throat> coming from English to French, the pronunciations just are not intuitive for an, for a native English speaker. Whereas like if you look at an Italian word, you know there's there's certain accents and there's certain pronunciations that are different, um, but it's still you can still read it like a, like as if you're speaking English and figure it out. Whereas, like, French, there's, like, it, it sounds completely different. A lot, of, a lot of the words are pronounced completely different than they would be if, you know, the English letters were, were in the same order. <clears throat> oh, a curator who deals with early modern science books a lot. That sounds amazing. Nick, that's awesome, dude. What's this? What's going on? Oh, God, Helm of the Host. Yeah, okay. That's a dangerous card. Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. There are a lot of ways to kill people with that. Spanish is a good language to learn. Oh, Spanish is super, yeah, Spanish is super, like, it's just it's like a popular. Yeah, it's just a perfect language to learn. There's nothing, nothing wrong with learning Spanish. That's a fantastically useful language. I like, I like Italian better because I have a little more... I have more of a vested interest. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm Italian. Mike, I have Italian heritage. Like, I would love to go to Italy. And I just think it's a... I don't want to say cooler, but I think it is a cooler language to learn. Go to Italy, get fat, drink some wine, speak the language, you know. Yeah. That's the goal, right? That's the goal. It is. I just actually started pretty recently since finishing grad school. It's an art science history museum. Dude, working at a museum would be such an ideal, like, that would be a, that would definitely be a goal for me. That's going to be a goal for me, dog. That sounds awesome. Every time I go to a museum, like, I just went to the Met recently when I was in New York, and it was, it's not my first time going, but it's always incredible, and I'm always, like, super overwhelmed because it's just such an amazing experience. We can copy Karanos, right? Mike doesn't want to do that. Okay. Yeah, you can. I was thinking if you could or not. Oh, yeah. Why wouldn't you be able to? It's an enchantment, right? Is it, though? I don't know, man. What do we want to play here? What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six mana and no, no I don't lands. I All right. So I'll put the Erebos on tippity top. I'll put this on the top. Maybe we just play propaganda copy enchantment. 
sure. <clears throat> so one, two, three. Oh, he's yielded that bad boy. And big props. Big prop a ding dongs. Nobody has an Urborg out, right? If, it, if somebody had an Urborg, I would just play the uh, Humility. Does not look good. All right, we are done. Let's attack. Let's attack old Mitchell, Mitchell, Michy boy. Odd question: Do you have a manual or automatic driver's license? Oh, I'm, I'm an automatic. I've never learned how to drive manual, so. Because if manual news at Holland, we could drive there. It only takes like five to eight hours, depending on traffic. That sounds awesome, actually. I bet that's a pretty scenic drive as well. Uh, uh, totally true about Latin language as well. Like languages based on Latin, like Spanish, Italian, etc. Um, they all have a lot of similarities. <clears throat> Here in the states, they do not have one or the other. You're okay to drive both of them. Yeah, yeah. Actually, there's no, there's no license. I was actually just speaking to the fact that, like, I am, uh, I'm not, I'm not well versed in driving auto manual. So, so stick as we call it in the U.S. Are you rubbing your little? You rubbing your? You rubbing your nibbles? No. Because that'd be weird. And I'd be that uncomfortable be with that. I don't know why I would do that. I don't either. That's why I was getting real concerned because your hand looked like it was in that, that weird area. The weird area of my neck? It was like your arm, bro. It was like your arm, bro. So, see, why is this getting copied three times? Oh. <clears throat> well, that's a lot of lands. Yep. How does that card work again? Uh, so it copies the spells you cast based on how many you've cast previously. So it's cast three. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, copy for each other instant or sorcery. So if you played three other instant or sorceries, it'll copy it three times. Okay, so it just makes every card have storm. Basically, yes. Hence it being a thousand year storm. I don't want to do that. I guess I'm done with this. I guess I'm done with this. I hate you. Um, <clears throat> I feel like this needs to be dealt with. It's only got a one one on. No big deal. I guess that's true. What problem is? What could possibly go wrong? Your dad. Your dad. Oh, that thing is that's that's a problem. Oh boy, each opponent discard exile two cards from their hand. Target opponent exiles cards from the top until they exile non land. Alright, let's see what let's see what they're doing. These two these two guys, the two TJs, are getting a little aggressive here. <clears throat> six cards, five cards, six cards. If we can just time spiral somehow. We have six mana. Man, we could do it. I would like another two lands, though. Mike Frank yester lost yesterday to it. Someone casted Time Walk and got five extra turns for two mana. Yeah, that actually happened. That actually happened in my draft as well. Someone actually time spiraled or time walked and it copied four times. And I was like, well, that's something. How'd that happen? Uh, a Thousand Year Storm. Oh. Oh, that's in the cube. Gotcha. Yes. Which is really interesting. Man, everyone's being all scary except for us. Oh, uh, I think we're building to it. We're building to scare. <coughs> all right. Let's use its ability. Um, I kind of you... want the land, right? Yeah, we definitely want the land. Definitely drawing this. Oh, dang, we didn't have to because we were drawing a card from that 
biscuits. Sea so, biscuits. I think we want a second blue and a second white. Maybe we just get a tundra here. A tun tundra audio. Hmm. Do we just humility here? I don't know what I don't know when you humility here. What how much man? One, two, three. That's pretty four, good. Five, I mean six, it's off seven. Narset. We have seven mana right now. Sorry. <laughs> it's like playing with a with a guitar pick. <clears throat> um I feel like we have to kill somebody right now. Yeah, I don't think that's a thing we can do. You don't know what I can you don't know what I'm capable of. You have no idea how high I can fly. What do we want to get with the de de demonic tutor? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana, so we'll have five mana left over. What can we get? Who knows, man? I don't even know if we demonic tutor here. Lewis game says humility as soon as we can. I you know I am game. I am game for humility. It does turn off our enchantress effect. Should we play this enchant? No, we only have two we only have three whites, so. Yeah, but we already have Karanos and Propaganda, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, Mirari's Wake. It's your boy. Let's tutor here. Uh, we can only, yeah, we only have three mana left over. Yeah, so let's just tutor here and see what we can get. Get oh, moat. We can demo here. Um. <clears throat> oh, did you say get moat? Yeah. Hmm. It locks our opponents out from creatures. Which I think is pretty good. What where's the what's the indestructible enchantment? Is there one that makes all your enchantments indestructible? Don't think so. There's one that gives them all shroud. There's hexproof, there's shroud. <coughs> what about Maelstrom Nexus? That seems busted, right? That's cute. Alright. You went with a cutie. Yeah. I want to do cute stuff in cube. My Garuba. This isn't cube, you idiot. That's what I meant. I meant the other one. God. <clears throat> I'm going to actually tap this as well, just so I don't get asked about my life. Get the one that prevents all damage to you? No, I don't care about all that. I just... Oh, I don't think there's ley lines in here, actually. That's interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen land, seventeen mana. That's a lot. It's a good amount. Oh god. Let's tap this, and I think it just actually does it automatically once you have nothing to do. So that's pretty cool. The game's on Twitch. Tell your wife I said hi. What did they search for? Did they tell us? That's not how that works, man. What did they demo for? They didn't demo. They vamoed. <laughs> they vamoed. <laughs> oh, oh, good. Fabricate. Oh, good. Search for two artifacts. Seems good. Wait, what did they... Did they draw this somehow? Or did they just literally play it to trigger this twice? Who knows, man. Because once they search, it's not on top anymore. This is interesting. <coughs> All right, well. Oh, God, what's happening? Whatever this is gets cast three times. <laughs> so he's going to control all three of your next... So he's going to control his turn, his turn, and your turn. Gross. Oh my god. I 
I always wonder why this card didn't see more play. Like, it was basically an 8-mana Mind Slaver, right? Nah, I'm not going to put that. I don't want that to come across wrong. I'm actually, this is kind of funny. Did I eight? You're going to eat me? No? Six? Maybe? Oh, yeah, I don't care. I don't care if I have mana in my mana pool. So is he just controlling everyone's turn? I would assume so, yeah. I think it's going to go control this, control this, control this, and then back to theirs again. Yikes. Because technically they could just choose some person three times. That's true. <clears throat> if only we had a ley line of sanctity to search for. We could have demoed for it. Unfortunately, Cassius really messed up. This is actually having humility out makes these guys roll on it. You're like, oh, here's a one one. Sunburst is generally a better Maelstrom Nexus. Interesting. Interesting. But it does cost six, which is a lot more than. Who are these guys coming at? Mitchell? Okay. Oh, okay, because the arrows go up. Yep. Yeah. I don't. No, I have nothing to do. I'm hitting eight. F8. Regular eight. Six? All right, whatever. Oh, I guess because I can Maze of Ith. Yield through this turn. I like that it says Commander on there. <laughs> this is a Commander, don't forget. <clears throat> 21 tax. Got him. 21 tax? 21 attacks. I don't think so. That's what you said. Bounce their own creature. What a dummy. <laughs> what an amateur move. Oh god, I'm kind of scared what they can do with our turn. I don't think it's that much though, right? Like, we don't have things that target. I guess they could go time spiral, not untap our land. I don't even know. I don't even know what, what the best, like, thing to do here is. <clears throat> but we're going to find out. Yield through this turn. The black white deck turned out pretty all right. Uh, I didn't. I, I think. I think we were we were getting somewhere. I might have another bite of this big Turk. Go for it. Turkish delight. That's so weird to me. I just want to show you guys again because it looks really weird, and my turn is not my own. Look at this. It's just chocolate with jelly inside of it. Well, Turkish delight. Jelly. It's got jelly on it. <laughs> you know what, Michael? Oh, they made us draw cards, obviously, and take eight. Oh, God, time spell's so bad, because then they're just like, oh, cool, I get to refill my hand. Mm -hmm. Probably what they're doing. 100% what they're doing. 
What was your favorite snack thus far? Out of all the Canadian snackums? Mm-hmm. Um, I like that that big one. I forgot what it's called. That was like crunchy, the big crunch or whatever. <laughs> What was that? What was the big crunchy one called? <clears throat> oh, they're gonna crack this and fail to find. My God! I just wait for the day we try the ketchup chips. Was it Mr. Big? Maybe. Big Chungus. Big Chungus. <laughs> you don't know of a Big Chungus? Yes, I do. That's why it's funny. Okay. <laughs> we should make it. We should start a candy company and just have all the candy bars named after memes. Wow, that'd be amazing. We can call it the Big Chonker. We can call it Oh Lord, He Coming. The Big Chungus. Chunga, 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 chunga. Hey man, did you taste that new that new Dat Boy candy bar? <laughs> I just did the chunga chat chant. <laughs> chunga, 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 chunga. I think TJ's going to kill us, I'm going to be honest with you. Hooga chunga, hooga chunga, hooga chunga, hooga chunga. Look at all these triggers, man. Sunbird's invocation triggers. Why is it trigger twice, though? <clears throat> oh my god, and then these spells trigger off the Thousand Year Storm. <clears throat> this deck is broken. Just type vomit in the chat. Ooga chaka ooga 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 chaka ooga ooga. I can't stop this feeling deep inside of me. Who's their commander? It doesn't even matter. It's like Joda or something. Yeah, it's Joda. I'm gonna go get a drink of water. What does this do? For any number of opponents, destroy a non land permanent that player controls. Oh my god. Gross. He's going to destroy like four of our permanents. Why is the Sunbird triggering twice? Because he has a copy of it. Oh my god. Four prophetic bolts. Also, never kill him now because we have humility, humility out. I don't think that's how we're gonna kill him. We got Sanguine Bond, but we don't have the other half. We'll get it, Michael. Oh God, this is what you hit off of this? No, couldn't be right. You hit it off of what? Oh, I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm just very confused. <laughs> I think oh, you can hit off this because it's not yeah. it's not cascade. It's actually you can the same thing. So, <clears throat> wow. Oh, so did we just lose Sylvan Library? Oh God. I 
This would be a good time to grab a drink and a sandwich and use the bathroom and maybe run to 7-Eleven. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Keep it up, baby. When you keep it up, baby. Like bees on the phone. Oh, God. Why? Oh, that could kill us. That can kill a lot of people. Does he get double storm? How does that work? I have no idea what's going on anymore. <clears throat> oh, we're at one. <laughs> and the storm triggers haven't even gone on the stack yet. I feel like there's a amount of vomit coming out of my body right now. That is indicative of my feelings on this match. What are they getting? Just lands? Yeah, because X is zero. They have to get land. Oh, because it was hit off some birds. Yeah, that makes sense. Chicken nachos dot USA is what we're gonna get after this game. Really? I don't know. I'm just trying don't to. Don't tease me. I'm trying to figure out where we can eat after this. <clears throat> What's gonna be open? Because it's like nine thirty now. Oh, they only targeted us with. Oh, they targeted us with two. Oh, we got exotic orchard. We're still alive. Come on, one time. Oh, got Exotic Orchard and Sun Petal Grove. <coughs> not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Oh, they're not done yet because they have ten cards in hand. Apparently Thousand Year Storm is a real thing. Can we play this in standard? Good lord, I'll play this in standard. I don't think there's broken enough things to do. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Come on, man. Isn't Urban Evolution like draw three cards? Isn't what? Is it draw three cards? What is two? Urban Evolution? Yeah. Yeah, and you can play an additional land. So you can play like five additional lands this turn and draw 15. You can draw like 15 cards. Yeah. And you still got the two Sunbird triggers. <laughs> is mana the, the bottleneck Vomit. here? Their mana has to be the bottleneck, right? No, I guess they get to play five more lands, so they'll have like six mana still. And this makes something cheaper, so... Not for them, you lands they draw. Well, they drew 15 cards. Yeah. I feel like... They have 27 cards in hand currently. I feel like at least four of them have to be lands, right? It's not even that good, but... Also, I don't know how you can... Oh, he had mana in his pool, okay. Oh, he got it for free off the Sunbird. Yikes. Man, this is a lot of uh, a lot of Farhaven elves here. Is there an infinite combo that we can kill them with on the next turn? Why haven't they killed us yet? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. When is a baby no. Also, even if they don't kill us, TJ, the other TJ can just attack us for one and kill us. Valid point. So there's that. Yeah, this deck seems like a nightmare to play in paper. Like to remember all these triggers and like be like, okay, four spells, sunbird triggers twice. Yeah, that does not seem like a good time. <clears throat> I wouldn't really call this a storm deck. He just happens to have thousand, thousand year, year storm. storm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, cruel ultimatum. That'll probably do the job. You think so? So how many cruel ultimatums did he get? <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If the original. Nine. Any sunbirds? This is the point where you skew, boys. I'm gonna concede the game.
Okay, now I'm gonna close it. Can I leave it? Uh, I already did, did I not? I'm not in the game. So... Just wait a few seconds, it's almost over. Okay, we did it. Is the game still up, though? I don't know where it went. Anyway. Oh, oh god. Good times. Magic Online. I think Always it's, a pleasure. I think it's literally broken. Yep, that's cool. <clears throat> magic Online, you're a piece of trash. Magic <laughs> Online, why do you always crash? Ah. Magic Online, yeah. I'm gonna restart it. Doesn't Commander crash if we concede with stuff on the stack? Well, maybe we just crashed it. That might have been what happened, yeah. There is currently a bug when you concede or stuff is on the stack. Oh, I had no idea. MCGO, you can suck my butt. Uh, Alright, well, how do I exit it? I'm trying to end the program here. I won't let you. End task. Oh, we did it. Alright. Let's try again. Try again. Try, try again. <clears throat> I'm hooked on a feeling. Okay, control plus shift plus escape for easy task manager. Affixes. What are you saying? What are you saying, Zichi? What's going on? What's going on? Hey, what's going on? Shut up, Michael. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to add some ley lines. Just the one ley line, you think? Am I adding ley lines, bro? Are you serious? Yeah. Which one? The blue one? The white one. So you can't be targeted? Yeah. It's kind of cute, I guess. Cute? How many lands does this deck have? 37. It's a lot. Should we take one land out? I I'm not a big it. Blind Obedience fan. I don't know if I care about that as much. No, that card's insane. Is it really? Yeah. See, this is why I keep you around. What's it really? Yeah, because whenever you... Like, the uh, the one ability alone is worth it. Ex Exedius or whatever it's called. Exodia? <laughs> My grandfather gave me that card. Exsangu no, the the taxing effect, whatever that's called, is really Extort. good. Extort. Extort, yeah, that's really good. Exquedius? <laughs> <laughs> is that your Patronus? It also shuts down Hasters. Exquedius Attackus. <laughs> I would definitely cut a land. Okay, which one? We have the Mana Confluence, huh? Nah, it doesn't seem correct. Mazeveth? I don't love Mazeveth. You do I. It's also not a land. No, it's not. All right, let's go. To, let's try it again. My gram. All right, I'm going to start another game. If you guys want to join, feel free to either message me on Magic Online, and I will add you uh, to my, my booties list, or just join as is. Oh, wow. What? I thought these little goats at first had masks on, but that's just them. That's just their little faces. All right, we got Lord Duke and Otori Shadow. Babe. Michael B. All day. Babe. Michael B. Oh, TJ's back. <clears throat> no, that's T. Jesse. You're thinking of TJ Hunter. Different TJ, bro. That's, there's three TJs? There are two TJs. T. Jesse and T. J. Hunter. All right, so one of them's back. Yeah, T. Jesse. So I said. It's not the, I thought you said TJ's back, as if like you were referring to the Storm player specifically. No, no, no. Okay. Does the deck have Seal of Cleansing or Seal of Primordium? No. No, it no. does not. <laughs> uh, what do you think about this hand? Ooh, it's real juicy. I think it's good. Got that two, turn two Luminarch Senshon. That Lumi boy. 
You can loom while you boom. Loom while you boom. Definitely keep. <laughs> oh boy. That's a lionfish. Did you know that? No, he's pretty truthful. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <clears throat> Laugh track cue. <laughs> no, I've not noticed that player. Yeah, it wasn't good. It wasn't a good look for you, buddy. No, for real though. That was your deck was sweet. Or at least what you were doing was sweet. It's funny. It's hard to say the deck was sweet because like there's a, it's it's weird because in Commander there's a couple cards you can get that make you literally go nuts, right? Like if you didn't have Thousand Year Storm, it would have been a completely different game. Mm -hmm. So it's probably gonna be like ten thirty when we go get food. Because of how quick you're, you win the game. Well, that's like an hour. I don't think it's gonna be longer than an hour. Oh look. Always got to be the soul ring guy. It's nice to be the soul We're ring guy. We're just going to Temple of Mastery. Yeah, it's, we get the scry. That's way better, right? It's basically the same. But better. It's basically oh, he's, better. Got the, he's got the Journey's Kite. The little bird kite. That's the worst version of that new card. That is the worst. Well, they probably have both. Maybe. Gonna play Temple of Mystery. Gonna get the. Maybe you can beat someone to death with that Chromanticore. <clears throat> That'd be gas. And I mean, while well, it's like on something else. Right. I'll Ideally. bestow it onto my smaller gentleman. Put it on your chromat Chromatic. I'll put it chromatic. on magic. Chromat, 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 chromat. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, eat your spoon. Build a little bird kite in your soul ring. Not to put too fine a point on it. Say I'm the only bee in your bonnet. Build a little bird kite in your soul ring. Do what now? It's a little they might be giants. But what if they aren't? Well, they might be. You ever heard that song? No. And you never will. Okay. Because I'll remove it from existence before I ever, ever let you hear it. You know, I really don't care that much because I've never heard it. Well, so. you never will either. Got him. You know what we should watch? <clears throat> Avengers Infinity War. Why? Because it's a good movie, man. I've already seen it twice. So? I'd rather watch a movie I've never seen. You can see it a third time, though. I'd rather watch it closer to when the next one's coming out. An hour from now, we'll be closer to when the next one's <laughs> oh my coming God. out. I want to watch that Quiet Place movie. Okay. Do you concede? <laughs> yeah, man, I concede. <laughs> I'd say Thor Ragnarok, but you've seen that movie way too many I've times. I've seen Thor Ragnarok like six times. That's, a, that's excessive. It's very good, though. Say I'm the only bee in the other bonnet. Make a little. Uh, hooked on a feeling. I'm high on believing. I'm high on believing. So what do we need here? We need a white. <clears throat> a quiet place is good. All right, that's one. That's one up. So what are our options here? Let's make it. Let's bigify. Whatever is white. Scrubland or tundra. Tundra gets us a second blue. Probably Scrubland, right? It means we'll have access to double black. Nah, double blue seems more prevalent. I don't know, actually. I'm looking right here. Yeah, okay. we'll get the Tundra. Build a little birdhouse in your soul. If you want amazing visuals, messy plot, and unnecessary boobage in the Aquaman theaters, yeah, well... Unfortunately, DC what's, has what's boobage has let yet to wow me with their movies, and Aquaman does not seem like it it gets the job done. Oh, also a funny thing I mentioned yesterday on stream was that Thor: The Dark World is arguably the worst Marvel movie. It has a sixty six percent or sixty seven percent on Rotten Tomatoes, and 
Aquaman has like 64%. So the worst Marvel movie is still higher than Aquaman. That's pretty bad. It was pretty rough. Because I remember seeing Thor The Dark World and it was not good. <laughs> I honestly think the Marvel movies get better with age um, based on the, the movies that have come out since then. Like, I want to go back and watch The Dark World again, and I think I'll appreciate it more because there are more Marvel movies for me to draw from. Just go back and watch them all. It'll only take you, like, nine years to do it. <laughs> there are quite a few. I think if you start watching right now, you might just make it before the next movie comes out. Cassius makes a good point that we have lanterns, so I guess the land did not really matter. Oh, true. Say I'm the only mic in your arm on it. Ragnarok isn't Thor. Ragnarok is literally one of the best. That's like a ninety percent on Rotten Tomatoes. I can't tell if that's serious or not. Yeah, that movie was fantastic. It you're was. Out, it was an amazing. Think that movie was bad. You're out of your mind. Like you're just like I feel like it's one of those things where like if you if you think Thor Ragnarok was bad, you're just literally deliberately trying to be an edge lord. It has a ninety two percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Even on Metacritic, it's seventy four percent. So here's the thing about DC animated movies winning by the same margin they lose in live action. Um, if you've seen Into the Spider-Verse, I think that ground is getting covered very quickly. Yeah, Into the Spider-Verse was amazing. Into the Spider-Verse was next level. Right, so, so no beats. You say I didn't care for Ragnarok, but I also don't care for practically all comic book movies. And that's totally fine. But like... <clears throat> There's a difference between not caring for a movie and saying it's a bad movie. A lot of people don't know how to make that distinction. They think if they don't like something that it's bad. And that's not how that go how that goes. I don't prefer some horror movies, right? But I can still acknowledge that they're well made and they're quality films. Just because I don't like them or they're not for me does not mean they are bad movies. Are you getting Thor The Dark World and Thor Ragnarok confused? The Dark World was the second one. Ragnarok was the third one. The Ragnarok was the one with Jeff Goldblum and directed by... Uh, uh, Taika... Right there. Taika Waititi? Yeah. And uh, it's very, very good. Yeah, Ragnarok had Kor Korg, which is the hilarious rock dude. Say I'm the only me in your ear bonnet. Korg was OP. I'm just going to play. They all have little one ones now, so I did some propaganda here. I'm just going to propaganda here. If you'd like to come at me. Why do you have so much land? Because of this guy and this guy? Except in the comic, he was in, yeah. But the, the thing is, like, Korg is not a memorable enough character in the comics that you can't take creative liberties with him in the movies. Yeah, Korg is played by uh, Taika Waititi, which is oh really pretty hilarious. Yeah. I've only seen Thor Ragnarok once. I didn't like Justice League, and it was a bad movie. That's correct. That is a correct assessment. It has a very weak plot. It has no development of characters. Yeah, that movie was not good. Uh, it has characters that defy their 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 actual characters. Say I'm the only Mike B in your money. I'm a little birdhouse in your soul. I used to have a cork synthesizer. A Moog. Well, the room's good because of how bad it is. It's so bad that it like becomes funny again because right. of how bad it Correct. is. Correct. So it, it 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 gains a quality of iron, like it gains an ironic quality. It is by no means a good movie, but, but it's bad enough to make it funny. Correct. By by filmmaking criteria, story, acting, you know, um, 
filming, like all those criteria, it's not a good movie. However, if you're not judging it by that, if you're judging it by enjoyability or entertainment, uh, I think you're you're going to be, the room is pretty high on that list. Is Thor The Dark World worse than Incredible Hulk? Probably not. Is what? Is Thor The Dark World worse than Incredible Hulk? I didn't Hulk? hate Incredible Hulk. I thought all the Hulk movies yeah, were Yeah, but it's so long watchable. ago. I don't really remember. Yeah, it doesn't. It's... It's too long. It's ago. six of one, half dozen of another. Really, I'd have to watch it again. Um, someone also said, uh, "I actually don't remember if I watched Justice League, and that's pretty much all you need to know about <laughs> Justice League." Yeah, I don't remember too much about it, other than the the main bad guy was not intimidating. What was the name? What was the what was the main bad guy's name? Exactly. Something something in Swedish. <laughs> It was Steppenwolf, but there's really no reason that it was Steppenwolf. Like, it makes no sense. Steppenwolf is not a memorable character, and it's not someone who, uh, your, your, your average film goer who's not super familiar with DC would even get. It was a very weird choice. Like, we're going to make a Justice League movie, which is our premier flagship team of heroes. And we're going to use a, a pretty boring cookie-cutter villain in Steppenwolf, and it was very weird. Say I'm the only Mike B. I watched in Wonder Woman it. recently again, and it's not as good as they I remember. Um, I thought Wonder Woman was okay. It was definitely it was probably the best film they've done so far. Right, but come on, like, and that's that's what's funny. Let's see what Wonder Woman got. Hmm. Where is it on Rot Roddy Boys? Gaunty, who's this Gaunty targeting? But the angels make you a target. I get it. I get it. Oh, Wonder Woman Rotten. Oh, 93% on Rotten Tomatoes. Fascinating. Hmm. Much higher than I thought it would be. It is higher than I thought it would be. I didn't think it was a bad movie, but I think it was like, just kind of, eh. Like, I do want to eventually watch Aquaman, but I don't want to go to the movies to pay for it. Yeah. I'd much sooner go next week to see Bumblebee. Uh, the Dark Knight is not the DC. It's not the DCU, so to speak. Like it's a different, a different grouping of movies, which is unfortunate because that's really the the best place they could start. But I understand why they didn't. Harley Quinn got the Suicide Squad popular because, like, Harley Quinn is like the the, the DC version of Deadpool. Like, Harley Quinn has a really weird, like, overly uh, obsessed fan base, which is kind of weird. It's the same way Deadpool. Like, people who don't even read comics like Deadpool. It's kind of weird. Like, they just cling to this, like, kind of, like, goofy, edgy, like, character. And it's kind of strange. Like, I feel like Harley Quinn and Deadpool have the same kind of audiences. Oh! The only thing we can really do is here is a chromatic lantern. The difference right? is Deadpool is made by Marvel and it's actually well done. Oh, we're talking about movies. I'm just talking about the characters. Oh, sure. Okay. Who's our? We got Sand Dude here. Has 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 his on Tamar. Make Sand Warriors. Who's over here? Oh no. Oh no. What happened? Uh oh. Oh, here we go. We have. Oh, so it was just Savala. Okay. And then over here we have. So weird because like DC animated movies are really good, That's and good. I think the shows that they have on TV are pretty decent too. But they just can't nail the movies. 
Live action movies, rather. Actually, I'm not going to do that because if we end up getting triggered on this. Spaghetti Toucher, happy new flipping here. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Make a little birdhouse in your soul. I wish this song was not in my head. Michael. Michael Biscuits. Michael Biscuits. That's your name. Yeah. It says it on your birth certificate. Declare blockers. God, they just they're just really trying to get me off this Luminarch Ascension. Yeah, it's pretty busted. It's kinda rude. I can only make like two angels a turn. Do commanders deal regular damage and commander damage or just one? Both. No, thank you. Build a little birdhouse in Mike's soul. I'm just kind of hoping that they, uh, the, 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 the tax that propaganda has given him is going to be too much for him so that the birth certificate was issued today years ago because it is Mike's birthday. It is, it's not. Nick says, speaking of birth certificate, that reminds me, happy birthday, Mike. Hey, you all. Michael, have a happy, I hope um, you have a happy birthday. Leave the stream for Where should we go to dinner back. for Mike's for Mike's birthday tonight, guys? You think uh Magianos is open? No. Dang. Oh, Cheesecake Factory is actually I actually like the Cheesecake Factory a lot. Yeah, but they're kinda of far. By the time we get there they'd probably be closed. They'll get there before we get they'll close before we get there, man. It's ten o'clock right now. We're not even close oh, to it is? Oh, well then. You don't know where clock. You don't know how clocks work. I ain't got no clock in front of me, boy. There's always a clock, and you're in front of a I computer. I can barely see that. Oh my god! Look, it, it's literally right in front of all these chats. Oh, what I got to do math now? <laughs> it's a 24-hour clock, so he can't see. He can't tell the. The one near me closes at 12:30. Find out what time they close. Cheesecake factory. Yeah. All right. Maybe we'll drive there for your birthday. <laughs> you can get a piece of birthday cheesecake. Put a little birdhouse in your soul. I feel like this Lun Lumark Ascension really put a target on my back. Happy birthday. Get your eyes checked. <laughs> yeah, get your stupid eyes checked. Oh, are there stupid eyes now? Yeah. Uh, it looks like they closed at 11 p.m. God. So there's no way to make it there in time. You're right. Unless we left right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Roll the credits. Also, if you guys are looking for underwear, and I know you are because you guys love underwear, check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off. The link is in the description below, and it's in my Twitch profile. And sometimes they have sweet offerings like Star Wars underwear, onesies, lounge pants. Super comfortable, guys. Do they have t-shirts? They might have tees. Tees. Yeah, we get it. You got a knife. It's just fun to play with. Don't you get a free hat for your birthday at Chuck E. Cheese? Maybe you do need to trim your eyelids. Do you ever think about that? Trim my eyelids? Yeah. yeah. Maybe they're too long. <laughs> my eyelids are too long. <laughs> I know. That's what everyone's saying. You got sloppy eyelids, boy. <laughs> When you got your haircut, you didn't have them trim your eyelids? No, I didn't. Well, I don't know what barber you're going to, but they're clearly not worth the the price of admission, buddy. I actually need some new underwear. I might invest. Oh, you need some new undies? 15% yeah. off. Free shipping and free returns. I got numerous holes in a couple of mine pair now. They need to go. You heard it here first, folks. He's got holy underwear. <laughs> Can we just hard cast this guy? We could. Let's go white, blue, black, red, and green. Yeah, you are getting ripped off if they're not trimming your lens. You got you to gotta be like, hey, when you go and you're like, hey, after you get done with the beard, can you get the eyelids? See what they say next time you go. 
I'll be sure to do that. That's how you can tell whether it's a good barber or not, if they get them eyelids. Not to put too fine a point on it. Say I'm the only Muldrotha. Put a little birdhouse in your... I'll get him. I don't like I don't like being that close. It's real. I was like, this is too close. It's real uncomfortable. You think it's against the Twitch terms of service if I cut your eyelids off on yeah, stream? Yeah, I think that might be. Well, you never know. Uh, I have seen oh creatures you control have elf ability. Uh, I've seen the Shadows movie. I forgot what it was called. What was it called? What's that movie called? Enter the Shadows. I don't know what you're talking about. Open your mouth. <laughs> We live in the shadows. What's that movie called? What we do in the shadows. Yeah, that was a good one. That hey was man, it's one. like Solik. <laughs> oh, we did it! Oh, we did it, boys! What are you trying to dye my skin, man? Does it stain? Let's see, yo, look at that. And now you just look like you have jaundice. <laughs> Hey, buddy, sorry about your jaundice. Your jaundice. <laughs> Mike V just went full cat. <laughs> oh, man. God. How dare you. What is this? When there's a battlefield, destroy all artifacts and enchantments. Put oh, you don't know about Bane of Progress? Wasn't that like a standard card for a while? No, this Commander card was never a standard card. No, it's not from Commander. That's, it's definitely from Commander. No, it's not. It's 100%. This is a huge card. You're thinking of Bane of the Living. Let's find out. It's literally in Commander, Commander, Commander Anthology. I could have swore that was in a different set. No, let's look up Bane of. These are the only four Banes in the deck, and this is uh this is turns into some nonsense. I feel like the game just ended. What am I thinking of then? I don't know. These are the only Banes. These are the only Banes, Michael. You merely thought this was in standard. Put that thing away, man. I'm I gonna give you a little... No, no. <laughs> no more yellow for me. How much would you guys have to donate for Mike to have a big old squirt of of these crystal light drink enhancers? <laughs> Just donate enough for my dinner and we'll call it a day. So how much is... What, where are we going? What's the dinner price? Uh, for like 10 bucks. 10 bucks? 10 bucks... And Mike will take a big old squirt. Right, we'll make it 20 so I can cover tip and everything. Whew, 20 bucks? And his eyes are in his mouth. Probably just the mouth. I don't just want him to mouth. I don't no, want to burn no his eyes, eyes out. No eyes. This isn't a this isn't a painful str oh god. Why is everyone else doing cooler stuff than us? But only if you shoot his nose? Oh, no way. God. That is a bad deal. He'd probably die. I'd probably have to take him to the hospital. Is it my turn? Oh, we get to just replen replenish, though. Oh, that's good. I forgot replenish was a thing. We don't get our chromatic lantern back. Why not? Because it's not an artifact. It's not an enchantment. Oh, it's only enchantments. Well, my bad. Hmm. But do we just die? Like three, four, five, six... 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Do we just want to... Even humility doesn't matter. It's because it's a 1-1 one, one with 8 counters on it, right? It's just because it's a 9-9, nine, nine, right? Yep. That's no good. Oh, God. I'm feeling real bad about this situation. Let's play Chromat. Chromat? Mm-hmm. Is that... Is that good? It's all right. It's 5-5. Five, five. Is that good?
I mean, if you play the ability, everyone's going to go after you. So, hence the downside. We do get. I mean, if we just replenish, we get Chromanticore back. Yep. I wish this wasn't the trash can. That'd be amazing. That'd be pretty good. <laughs> we get a, just a free a time omniscious. spiral. Yeah, for free, and then we can untap, float all our things. Put a little birdhouse in Mike's soul. Oh, it's not the greatest. I don't even know why that triggers. It makes me mad. I got excited, but then I didn't get excited. If you get the chance, you should watch Boy, which also stars and directed by Takeaway to It's about growing up. Oh, yeah, I've, I've actually seen... I, I'm familiar with Boy. I have not seen it yet. Hey, man, let me ask you something. Okay. Please see what TJ Smith did in the last game of Commander. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wow. This is actually horrifying. That is way too realistic. I don't want this to exist anymore. And really just not okay. Oh, God. I am really uncomfortable now. I don't. You got you to gotta show that to everybody. I don't want to sleep anymore. Nope. Okay. There you go. There, there you go. Oh, God, it's horrifying. It's <laughs> nightmarish. This is what you guys are missing out on in the in the Discord, so. Oh, God. How do you feel about the new Hellboy movie? Were you ever... Uh, I like the first two Hellboy movies. I don't have any feelings toward the new one because it's not out yet. But I have no... Like, it should be fine. Hellboy is in DC or Marvel, right? It's like... No, Hellboy thing. is Dark Horse. just it's just the cheeks really the cheeks and the nose really get me yeah. yes because it looks like i look like a mr potato head it's just it looks like a creepy like um like this is straight out of like tim and eric man it's so tim and eric wow that's a great comparison so, also, the 20 bucks doesn't have to be uh from one person if you guys combine 20 bucks if we somehow get 20 bucks total, we can squirt some of this into Mike's mouth. And that sounds like a good, like he wins too. Cause then he gets to taste the sweet, sweet. No, nah, it's not sweet. Cherry blackberry not. or, you know, it is sour af. Berry sangria. Is there any way on mobile to see our, I have no idea. I don't know if there's a way on mobile or on regular. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield and control, it deals one damage to each opponent. Uh, that probably seems terrible. What happened to their other creature? Didn't they have another creature? Oh, a Hellrider. Oh, are they tapped out? So no one's going to take a million from this guy? Really need a, a Wrath of God effect here, buddy. Oh, this got rid of my Chromanticore? I was wondering why it was like off to the side. Well, that sucks. Oh, 1,000 sour bits. Halfway there. Halfway there. Ten bones. Wow. Cyborg Yui, the hero we need. Mike B doesn't need any cashews or almonds or any type of... I'm sorry, what? Uh, I don't know what that... Was. I'm not sure what this thing is saying. I think that might be an autocorrect in this app. I don't think so. Oh, 925 left. 925. We can do this, guys. We can do this. We can squirt this this Mio. Or it's easy. You get your choices. We got Mio or Crystal Light. Oh, it's a Tim and Eric joke. Oh, dang. I didn't even get it. I can't say I'm super familiar with Tim and Eric's like entire catalog, but I do like what I've seen. Despite how absolutely uncomfortable it makes me. Stick a little birdhouse in your soul. Shut up. Hmm. Bing, ding, ding, ding. At least Bane doesn't have trample, right? God, it just kills everything. Can we do 20 for a double squirt? Um, yeah, you know what? Sure. Wow. 
I didn't agree to that. Eh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> the same time, just... Yeah, get the twofer. You get the mix, because you mix the flavors. Oh, God. Yep. I feel like we need to re reset this, because anybody have a restoration angel or something? All right, land. Oh! That taps for two. Yeah, boy. Two, it's three, four, yeah, boy. five, six, seven. Not quite enough for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can tap this can guy. Time spiral though. We can, and we can also float one. One, two, three, four, six. So we'd untap with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Or we could just play humility. Five cards, five cards, four cards. We actually definitely come out ahead here. I think we're time spiraling here. Iron Chef Sammy, happy anniversary, buddy. Are they going to counter this with their green mana? I think so. I don't understand. Oh, they're getting rid of the planar bridge. I like it. I like it. You think planar bridge is stronger than debtor's nail? Probably, yeah. Definitely. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And for some reason, despite you guys seeing me click every one of them, that one did not get clicked. Click, 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 click. As long as you print from each parental damage, that'll be dealt to you. And that's pretty good. What do we got right now? A, a white, a blue. This will actually do it. Too bad we can't do both. Yeah, we can. We play this, and then we have three, so we can play Spirit of Resistance. Oh, yeah. Hey. So we go, let's go blue. Oh, we also have one floating. All right, so let's see what we can do here. We got one. Let's go blue. Green. Nope. Yes, we have to do it like that, I guess. Black and red. And we have one floating, so... We're doing it. The dream is dying. I mean alive. I guess we're just passing, right? And now all of our opponents have seven cards, so. That's cool. It doesn't feel cool. What do we need, 925? God, man, no one wants to squirt this in your mouth. I guess not. What a time to be alive. 1,500, buddy. <laughs> Let's do it. I thought we were doing both. You want to do a twofer? Yeah. All good. right, what two flavors you got? Let's actually have chat vote on it. We have... All right. We're going to make two votes. We're going to make a straw poll. So we got all enter poll option. What flavors is Mike squirting? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good title. We got tropical coconut. We got black cherry blackberry. We got blackberry raspberry. This one's actually naturally sweetened, so it's much weaker. We're not going to do that one. Mango peach. Mangio. Mangio peach. And berry sangria. Allow multiple poll answers and create the poll. All right. You guys get to pick two. There you go. There you go. Yes, let's use that. Let's do first and second place, I guess. Yeah. You guys asked for it. Yeah, even over the even over the amount. Yeah. I mean, good tonight, boy. That might have actually just been uh, Nick donating for the sake of donating, but fair. You know what? Doesn't matter. <coughs> This is where they go, Restoration Angel. Link my Bane of Progress. Kill one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, just an Oracle of Moldiah. Two Oracles on the board at once. 
Oh, look at this. Is this good? Lupine prototype? I guess it's if any player has no cards in hand. That's interesting. Let's see those results. Oh, wow. This is a lot of votes. You guys have voted quick on this one. We got Berry Sangria and Tropical Coconut Laden, which is funny because those are the two Crystal Light flavors. Mango, peach, and cherry blackberry are both of the Mio flavors. We'll give it a little bit longer in case anybody wants to. This makes five mana? How does it do that? Oh, that's pretty good because of Savala. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, changing. You alright? Yeah. How many seconds are we gonna hold it, guys? I don't I don't wanna be I don't wanna cheap out, but I also don't wanna murder Mike. Uh so what's this how long what's what's the second count of how long we're gonna make him make him squirt? <laughs> <laughs> Thirty five get out of here, man. That ain't no squirt. That's a fucking monsoon. There's no there's not even enough in here to hold to squirt for thirty five seconds. Three to five, that's much more reasonable. Empty them. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> oh, God. So four seconds seems reasonable. A solid four second mouse court. Yeah, that's pretty reasonable. I don't think it is, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. That's, that's like so long, dude. All right, we can probably do three. One at a time or both? Oh no, it's gotta be it's gotta be one of these jobbies, right? I guess so. <laughs> Alright, well. What's going on here? Sylvan Library. Alright. Just making sure we're not in the, in a super intense moment here. We're just kinda waiting for all the other turns. Alright. Tropical coconut and berry sangria. <laughs> Oh god, I have no idea how Ugh. long <laughs> God. Ugh. Yeah. I probably need to buy more of these now. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. That's so sour, fuck. Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh lord. Oh. You're out of water, man. <laughs> Look at that. Look at your going tongue. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. The, oh. the secret is that tongue is blood. Ugh. Oh my god, that really. That dyed your tongue, dude. It was weird. It tasted like if you took like a hundred thousand pieces of gum and chewed it all at the same time. <laughs> what? What about? What was the sour level? Like pretty, it's, pretty high. Like would you? Like would you compare like a warhead? That fucking that warhead doesn't even come close. Really? Yeah, warhead's nothing, man. I'd do that. <laughs> He's making faces like when I give my dogs a lemon. <laughs> I can tell you, though, that Mio's are definitely stronger. Really? Oh, yeah. Interesting. So I got away with it, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, vote for the Crystal Light ones. I didn't know that going into it, though. Obviously, yeah. Like, you sneak in here when I'm not here, and you're like, I'm going to try these and make sure I get Look, the right even, one. Look, even, like, the edge of my cup is red. My God, dude. I feel like Mike is the real anything for views. <laughs> I don't know, man. That guy gets naked. Yeah, that dude. That dude does uh, a little bit. A little bit much. I gotta wipe my eyes because I'm well, crying. Why? Because your fat eyelids are in the way. Yeah, that's why. Well, I hope everyone's entertained. 
Your whole mouth is red, dude. Hold on. Check this out. <laughs> red half. <laughs> oh, you my lips. <laughs> okay. All right. We're having a good time. I will say, it does make a delicious drink when you mix it with the water, but it's not worth it in the end. You sure? It's not just a good enough snack on its own? Huh. Would, wouldn't recommend. Who saw that Would coming? not recommend. Oh, no. What does this do? Search your opponent's library for an instant or search your card. You may cast that card without paying its mana cost, and the player shuffles their library. Who are they targeting? Targeting Otori Shadow. Okay. Targeting us would be bad. There's, like, nothing really to get. That's, yeah. Look at this. Also, Gonti is a rogue, which is kind of funny. Uh, I kind of like Tutor and Upkeep. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I just don't know what to get yet, but... What's our win-the-game cards? <clears throat> Well, our Luminarch extension is online, right? Yeah. That's our win card right there. But I don't want to have to go through the, the trouble of attacking everyone. I got there all that whole rigmarole. Attacking, psh, like some peasant. Upkeep tutor for... Does Omniscience win? We have one, two... So we go black, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We Actually, that would be really good. Because then we go play this for, play this for free... Play this for free, draw two cards. One of them, well, I guess Vampire Tutor would be drawn. It's still short, though. You need 10 mana for Omniscience, right? No, it's 8, right? Isn't it? No. S oh, it's 10. Ew. Yeah, it's 7, blue, blue, blue. Hold on, we got 1, 2, 3, Vampiric Tutor, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, okay, so this is Vampiric Tutor. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're 1 shy. Oh, they're 2 So we don't man. have triple blue either. Yeah, we do. We have Temple, Tundra, oh, okay, sure, and yeah. Yeah, All right. <clears throat> we'll get to play a land, too. So we can do it next turn. Why is it, I hate this is just sitting here on my battlefield. Oh, also, if we play two turn upkeep, that will make it our Cascade trigger, which is kind of bad. Yeah, I don't like that. I think we're better off just playing one of the the Eidolons and then tutoring we only have one Eidolon Michael or the Enchantress whatever <laughs> so they went to Tooth and Nail they got a Green Warden of Marasa and an Ashen Rider well biscuits hey Mike do you have a favorite commander yes Sidisi Brood Tyrant they're getting rid of our Maelstrom Nuxus. that's sad and it exiles it, so like it's no chance of getting it back. It also gives rid of a mana. I agree with you. Idolunes. That's from the French. It's not. It's not. It is not. Wait, what's happening? Why are they how are they able to how are they doing it again? Oh, they green warden to get it back. Yikes. And now they're going for Lord Duke. Oh, this is a lot of things happening. Tons of high stack triggers. You can cascade into a lucky land. And then, well, you can't cascade into lands ever. Uh, Tutor could not cascade for Sol Ring. Sol Ring costs one and Tutor costs one. Cascade only gets cards that cost less. How did you guys both get that wrong? That's weird. It's not Sunbird's Invocation, which gets an equal cost. It's Cascade is always a lesser cost. That's why you can't Bloodbraid Elf into a Bloodbraid Elf. <clears throat> Boy, what a world that would be. <clears throat> oh, you thought it was Demonic Tutor. Yeah, Demonic Tutor would be sweet. What a wonderful world. We have three green. Oh, we have four green, actually. So we can play this and then this. Because chat is only one person, not multiple. What does that mean? It is one unit. One chatty unit. I will use... I'll put a fifth one on there. I don't even care. 
You doing okay? <clears throat> Your tongue looks like it's bleeding. I know. Is it? I can't even tell. I don't taste any blood. Well, that's because you probably don't have any taste buds left. Michael. That might be true. Had some taste buds. <clears throat> I'm so glad I had water. One, two, a three. Let's play Enchantress here. Oh, I messed up. No, I didn't. I yes, basically I, just yes, I, I basically just mainlined liquid candy. Mmm, liquid candy. <laughs> <laughs> did you like that? I did. <laughs> Why is it over your chroma? That's weird. I don't know. I hate all of it. Why? Wait. What are you doing? Add green, you stupid idiot. Mmm, liquid candy. Well, now you can't tutor. I know. I'm really not. I'm not happy about my life choices. There's no cascade trigger anymore. They got rid of it. <clears throat> you better stop asking. Oh, Rector. Damn near killed her. if it made angel enchantments so you could be like make one make one make one and then this adds three more so then you're like yeah that wouldn't be busted at all but would it be oh wow did they just strip mine our sarah sanctum they did god no one wants us to have any fun are you ready for the next one no uh, that was two <laughs> i distinctly remember I was... never forget Giving you nightmares with what voice? What voice did I do? Hmm. Oh boy. <clears throat> I'm feeling like we're getting to a point where we need to cascade for, uh, or a uh, vampire tutor for, like, austere command. How do you feel about that? Seems good. Yikes. That's a yikes from me, dog. I think they only draw off one of the triggers, so it's not that big a deal. Hey, man. Hey, man. I've already been abused enough, okay? <laughs> abused? You got paid for it. That's true. It's still abusive. If you don't like it, you can find a different job. Mike, another squirt for just two seconds for 40 USD? Wow. Yeah, I'm in. Let's do it. This has been fun. I'm going to have to sleep, but I'll leave you with this gem. Oh, God. Oh, God, Nick. Tropical coconut, coconut and berry sangria. sangria. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I have no idea how long. <laughs> God. Yeah. yeah. I probably need to buy more of these now. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah. That's so sour. Fuck. Hey Zaichi, I'll sweeten the deal for you. I don't have any water left, so it'll be it'll be terrible for a longer time. <laughs> it will be miserable for longer. I have the death sentence on twelve <laughs> systems. <laughs> I'll be careful. You'll be dead. <coughs> My friend doesn't like you either. Oh, yeah, the next time make, making the camera larger is definitely a good play. Oh, yikes. This is actually real bad for us. Yep. That card's really good. Uh, you might be the only one having frame drops. So we've literally dropped no frames. <laughs> oh, God. 
What are they targeting? Oh, God. I guess we actually don't even have the colors for it, right? We're missing a black permanent and a red permanent. Yeah. Oh man, so they control 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They're going to make 12 sand tokens and have 12 triggers. Oh god. How are they doing that? Because it says that when he enters the battlefield, create X11 one, one sand warrior creature tokens that are red, green, and white at the beginning of your next upkeep, where X is the number of lands you control at that time. But if he never gets to that point, huh? It's still a delayed trigger, right? I don't know. I don't know, man. Magic's hard. Magic is a hard game. Oh, they just get to kill something else. Now they get rid of my Luminarch Ascension. What do we do here? <clears throat> do we already use a Replenish? Was that this game? Where's my Exile so. Zone? What? Did you say you didn't think so? I don't think so. We definitely did, right? And then we just shuffled it back in. Right? Get in the zone! Exile Zone! It's also affecting my throat. I got like a weird dryness now. Stop being a little baby. So like I got for clump. Maybe if you got your eyelids trimmed like a normal human <clears throat> being, you'd be fine. I don't want to pay extra for that, man. Amateur. Do we just go kill all the enchantments? Do we get like austere command and kill all the big creatures in the enchantments? Because, like, we're actually way behind here. And Debtor's Knell and Aura Shards are probably going to be pretty hard to deal with. They also have better enchantments than we do. So we can actually kill all the four and greater costs. Yeah, that seems good. And then, yeah, we'll have to do that. <clears throat> well, that one killed that guy, though. Mm, who? The Sand Token Maker guy. Yeah, well, oh, wait, it's CMC, right? Seven oh, yeah. CMC. Okay, that was power. There is. That's my biggest issue with Commander is that there's so much going on at any given time. I think you kind of have to let go of trying to control the entire game. Michael is a turd burger. That's why control decks don't really work in Commander. So what do they do? Just gain like six here? They draw six cards? They're at eight cards already. Oh, wow, they drew six cards. So they go like a 14 cards? Okay, well, that's good times. That's a yikes for me, dog. <sighs> Michael is a turd burger. They're really like convincing me to kill more enchantments. This is nice. You can play control only counter the scary stuff. Rest doesn't matter. <sighs> oh boy. Oh god. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. They just get 14 more lands. This is basically all the lands in their deck. Yep. Well, that's something. Have yourself a merry little Mike's miss. May your Mike's be wild. Is that how it goes? Yeah. Huh. I think so. Let me show you something. Okay. Don't zoom any closer, please. <laughs> uh, I'm uncomfortable. Oh, 
Oh god, look at these look at these lands over here. They could hard cast progenitus pretty easily. You think? Yes, yes I do. <sighs> I feel like all the turns are taking a while and we're just like, alright, I'll, I'll play a land, I'll tap it, I'll do this, and then I'll do this, go. Everyone else is like, I'll get 14 lands out of my deck. I'll destroy four permanents. Have you played Back to Basics? Uh, Back to Basics, not terrible in here, I don't think. Yeah, but then you're that guy. Yeah, then you're definitely going to have a big target on your head. I'm just trying to have a merry little Mike's miss. Wow. Yeah, alright. So we're definitely going to kill everything. Oh, yesterday me and Rob did a blind stipulation where we alternate picks. Mm -hmm. Like, I pick one, then he pick one. I picked a Savannah, and right after that, he blind picked a Sphinx's Revelation. Wow. Yeah, it was amazing. So this guy's like, I don't think that Sphinx's Rev into Savannah blind pick for the memes could have gone any better. <clears throat> All right, as long as these guys don't have haste, I think we're good. What about Jockle Hops? Can I play Jockle Hops? Juggle hops. I like the juggle hoppies. Oh. What the hell's wrong with him? We might as well play obliterate. <clears throat> We're talking about the juggle hoppies, Michael. <clears throat> Alright, you ready? You gotta think like a mouth to try to lose me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Big old toots. Ah, uh, toot, toot. Ah, uh, beep, beep. All right. It's a man cost four or greater, and all the enchantments. That's definitely the play. Let's go to the draw step. Got him. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There's no point of attacking. Well, I want to kill. Yeah, I guess you're right. But I mean, this is still going to survive anyway, so. <clears throat> Destroy all enchantments and convert a mana cost four or more. So long, propaganda. I hardly knew you. They kill the Nissa. So we got one 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 coalition relic and chromatic lantern. Don't care about any of that. <clears throat> oh, this guy gets to exile a permanent. Never mind. Seven oh one planty boys. Oh, they're gonna really have any township. I like it. If this guy dies before the thing, like, do they still get the sand boys? No, all sand boys die when he dies. Right, but like, if he's not around for that to trigger, do How they? How'd that happen? What? How would that happen? What do you mean? It's like banishing. It's like uh, oblivion ring. If you remove the oblivion ring before the the first part resolves, then it never comes oh, back. Oh, sure. You know what I mean? I don't know. That'd be weird. How hard to set up, though. So there's no clause right now that says they leave the battlefield. They just stay there forever. I guess at upkeep, you could, like, exile them yourself or something. I don't know. I'm exiling you myself. No, it says when he leaves the battlefield, exile our sand warriors. But the sand warriors are not there anymore. They never were. 
Like, so during his their upkeep, do they still just get like ten sand warriors? I don't think and so. And then there, there's why why not though? They put a delayed trigger on the stack for now they come into play. Maybe. Yeah, shut up. You're dead to me. You understand? This is how you make me feel. The mustache is also perfect. really it's weird. too perfect. <clears throat> it looks like the same effect wording as Oblivion Ring. Yeah, right, right, right. So if the last part has already triggered, then the first part just gets to do whatever it wants without consequence. Did the Sand Warriors ever really exist? Maybe it was all in our dreams. That's a good point. You shaving some chalky? Some chalky. Not to be confused with famous Hearthstone streamer chalky. Of course. Like you do. Do we have a way to kill our own Academy Rector? Yeah, we die. Hmm. Fascinating. <clears throat> I guess we could play it and then concede, right? And then we get to search? Yeah. Yep, here we go. Look. Let's find out. 10 one ones, 11 one ones. That's pretty good. This game is grindy. I don't actually know who's ahead here. I don't think it's us. It's definitely not us. Dang. I just wanted to play Omniscience. But no. Yeah, everyone's got to be messing with my enchantments. Well, you know, if we draw three more lands in Omniscience, we're good. That's all I ever want. Actually, we only need two more lands because we already have one in hand. Wow. Yeah, basically have it. When you were born, do you think you were... Did you ever think you'd be this smart? I knew it. Yeah. Or when I was born. Makes sense. Makes total sense. Hey, bro, let me see that squirrel nest. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> I'm really glad they didn't have that in play last turn so that it would have these guys would have been like what 12 12s something ridiculous <laughs> like that yeah it's still pretty good okay that's not a creature. Yeah, I'm surprised they tapped one of the ones that had the squirrel nest. Then they could put counters on other guys. Strip mining excavator is pretty degenerate. I agree. Stand in the place where you live. I think this is the bigger threat. God, it's not even our turn yet. Jeez. What time does Applebee's have appetizers until? Two? Oh, 
Well, I guess you got it covered. Close at 2 a.m. It's an option. I suggested it. Did you? Yes. Yeah, I don't know, man. Did you? Yes. Oh. Oh. Yep, that's pretty good. So long, Verdun Enchantress. I was really hoping we could draw one extra card from this, but I guess not. <clears throat> this game's not looking good. Nope. Nope. Also, for those just joining us, if you guys want to wish Mike a happy birthday, feel free to do so. I hate you so much. It's happy birthday, Michael. I can't even contain it. It's your birthday. It really isn't. You're getting so old because it's your birthday. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, that's a lot of triggers. I'd like to stack my triggers. Wow. 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 Honestly, sure. Is Mike turning 16 or 17? Uh, I think he's turning 16, which is why he's getting his license. He's going to start driving this week. <laughs> I hate you all. Every one of you. Oh, you got a happy birthday, Mike. Happy B-Day, Mike. Look, all your friends are telling you happy birthday, bro. I have no friends. <laughs> They're all dead to me. Where did our enchantress go? In the garbage. Are those dinosaurs? What is this? They're little cuties. That is a little cutie. Oh, you got a clip in the chat. Finally. Oh, what a that was a good draw, dude. Where are you gonna drive first? With your new license. Your, your mom's, mom's house. house. <laughs> You're gonna go to my mom's house first. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. What are you guys gonna do? Oh, you know. I don't. Can you, what do What are you guys gonna? Sexual intercourse. Oh, crying out loud. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to play this, sacrifice it to kill the Cathars Crusade, I think. And then replenish? Yeah. That seems good. That does seem good. Well, also Academy, or Catacombs, just because we're going to take one from this anyway, so I might as well just play this and take one from that instead. What should I bring to Mike's Quinceanera? Uh, that's a good. That's a good. That's wow. a good question. What do you feel like, buddy? Now I'm only thirteen. Well, we knew what this was. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> boom! 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 Pirates in your bedroom. How does it feel to be five? Pretty good. Pretty. We can do it. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, Kinsina's 15. You said 13. She said five. Someone else said 15. Nobody knows what it is. Who knows? I don't. We want another blue source. So I guess we're just going to get underground. Seems good. <clears throat> I'm going to replenish everything in my life. I wish this I wish either one of these was still in play. Yeah, that would be sweet. 
<laughs> oh my god, why you be like this? <laughs> We're having a good time. But it's everybody. What's the problem is? No, it's from your graveyard to the battlefield. What do you mean? It's, it, oh, I'm thinking of open the vault. Oh, we also draw like five cards. That's pretty cool. If it was everybody, there'd be no point in ordering silencing, right? Because then they would be everybody. So why would I get rid of their artifact just to get the artifact back? Or enchantment or whatever. It's only game. Why well, you have to be mad? Oh. Oh. It's one half. Combo's coming, boys. Oh, that's a good oh, one, too. Half. I don't think this is... A, I don't think those are halves, buddy. Why not? Because that ain't how halves work yet. You, you search for the other one. Oh! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. But then you have to have a way to deal damage. All you need to do is deal one point that gains us life, right? Yeah, you just gotta deal one point of damage. And then it just goes for him forever? Mm-hmm. I just I think we just have to survive this turn, which I'm not sure we can, to be quite honest. Why not? Because they have an Omnath. Mm. You might be right. Yeah. We could block it, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we're cool. I don't know. I hate you. I hate you. Michael. Old pirates. This is the third time they had to kill this Luminarch Ascension. Hey man, you want this chicken tender platter? Not really. For your birthday? <coughs> well, we're definitely blocking. Is he even going at you? Oh yeah, you can see, because look at my face light up. Your face is lit. Rain loss. Thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Three months in a row. Welcome to our three month anniversary. Yeah. Well, now we have. A, now we're lacking a green permanent. Well, no, now we're lacking a black permanent too. So we actually have. It's basically never happening. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think the deck even has a red permanent in it, other than like the five color cards. We could just play Chromat. That's a protective spell. That's a powerful wizard. That also prevents all damage. Because it's all the colors. Right, that was my that was why I that's why I suggested it. Me leggy bouncy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With Temple of the False God we actually have ten, so we can play Exquisite Blood and Chromat. And next turn we can pay three for this and get the bond. Maybe we can win? Secret like a secret win? Secret win. In a world of pure imagination. We could also crack and get humility. That that'd be kind of funny. Oh, you know what you need? You need Curse of Death's Hold in this deck. What's that do? Curse of Death's Hold? <clears throat> Curse of Death's Hold is Creatures Enchanted Player Controls gets Neg when I win. Or maybe Knight of Souls Betrayal is probably better. Oh, sure. Because then it just kills everything in conjunction with Humility, so they just don't even get any creatures. Just like Mike B, they long to be close to you. Good talk. What was it? Meh. Uh, 
So I was looking at some of what's in Ultimate Masters and noticed Resurrection is now common. So like Pauper, turn two, Angelic Renewal, turn three, sack it when you evoke Muldrift for drawing four. And if they still kill it, turn four, Resurrection. Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. <clears throat> Does that work? Yeah, it says if you lose life. The first one's when you lose life, right? No, it doesn't work with this one. It works with Sanguine Bond. Sanguine Bond is whenever you lose life. No. No, it doesn't work. It's the opposite. No, because Sanguine Bond says whenever you gain life, an opponent loses that much life. You losing life is not part of the combo. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think so. I got confused. They're real confusing, man. <clears throat> you almost got you. I did. I was like, oh no. Oh, you didn't. I, I got it. I really this just want to try from the spoon, but I can't get it out in any efficient way. Why not? Because I don't, like, I'd have to, like, like chew at it. It's really weird. This is going to end terribly. Yeah, it just doesn't, like... It's not conducive to, like, easily removing it from the spoon. And I don't want to use this knife, because, like, this knife is not super clean. What's the other named again? Uh, sanguine your, Bond. Is that from all your dirty surgeries? Yeah, my yeah, but we call them dirgeries. Dirty dirt, surgeries dirt, are called dirty dirgeries. Surgeries. Yeah. Dirt, dirt smashurge. to figure out the plan here. Oh, Grove puts it on top of the library? Dang it. That's worse. No, we can go... We can just play Exquisite Bond and Sterling Grove this turn. And then end of turn, we can go find it. We don't have any guys to, like, deal the damage with is the problem. All right. Maybe we would by then. No. You know, we're at two already. We'll never be a three or four. I hate you. I don't want to hate you. Everyone has creatures. Then we just play can't attack spells. How does this? How do we sack this and how do we kill this? I don't like spirit of resistance. I think it's too hard to to do. I don't know. Your general instantly puts it online. That's pretty good. Oh, uh, the commander. The format's called commander. It's named after <gasps> the commander. It's not a, a general and commander are two different ranks in the military. They have two different, completely different jobs. That's true. I think the people. Oh, they get to put a card from the graveyard. Who? They, what are they targeting? Is Lord Duke leaving? Okay, I'm done, darn spirit. But you're still here. What's going on right now? Who are you targeting? Oh, crying out loud. That's going to be a yikes for me, dog. That's going to be a miserable experience for me, dog. Can someone counter activation? Wait, put our creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under control. Tapped. Why isn't this guy? T oh, because you don't have to tap to do it. Jeez, Louise, bro. Oh God, I'm cringing so hard. All right, we can get rid of an artifact at least. Well, none of these were relevant to the plan, though. Get rid of that stupid wolf. <laughs> I guess.
Don't hate your son on his fifth birthday. Wow. I'm sorry, son. Especially because of your big friggin' red mouth and lips. Maybe I'll take you to the hospital for your birthday. Now what are you targeting? Avenger of Zendikar? This one How card is doing, doing some work. What? How does he keep doing that? This. You pay four energy and three mana in target creatures from you just put them in the play. That's good. And then they have like a million energy. Fifteen. Because all the tokens died, and whenever a creature dies, they get an energy, so. Oh. <clears throat> Can we just draw omniscience? That would be gas, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Omniscience. Put into play, put into play, put into play, put into play. Go. Die. Dang. Okay. This is reasonable. It's not. It is not. I guess with it being Mike's birthday, he's allowed to stay up a bit past his normal bedtime. He's still only five, but I guess we can make an exception here. Good for you, buddy. <laughs> staying up with staying up with your dad playing some commander. <laughs> what did you what did you ask Santa for for your birthday? Okay, first of all, Santa doesn't have anything to do with birthdays. Okay, let me try to figure out where to start with you right there. Now my actual birthday, no one's going to wish me happy birthday. People have wished you tons of happy birthdays today. What are you talking about? So much hatred. Don't don't do it. Don't do it. Muck's birthday. <laughs> Keep it like that. Oh, Muck Muke's birthday. Oh boy. Happy fifth birthday, Mike. Good for you, buddy. Wow. I'm really proud of you. Is tomorrow also gonna be my birthday? Every day's your birthday, bro. Oh no. Ah, the old birthday bunny, a classic. Four cheese mac plus cheese with honey pepper chicken tenders. That's such a weird... That sounds like a really weird combination. It sounds like they have no idea what they're doing in the Applebee's kitchen. Just throwing random things together. This meal is literally called four cheese mac plus cheese with honey pepper chicken tenders. It's really something else. I don't know what's going on right now. Um... Oh, oh look at, wow, yeah, because of the lands they have. Mm. Hmm. They're literally going to reanimate every creature that's ever died. 16, 13, 5. Is Mike actually Benjamin Button? Yeah, it's possible. Well, they have 44 minutes, so they're pretty good on time. They actually have the most time of all four of us, so not too concerned with that. Oh, dear God. So they have a 10-10 Bane, literal 29 tokens, a 5-5 Demon, 5-5 Avenger, and a 30-30 Elvenwald Hydra. Is that all? That seems A-OK. -okay. In a world of pure imagination. You know what that's from? No. Willy Wonka, you stupid dummy. Oh, Willy Ronker? I'm sorry, what? Willie Ronker? Willie Ronker. You know about Willie Ronker? I don't. Can you inform me about Willie Ronker? Oh, he's my dad. Wow, Willie Ronker, your dad. Mm-hmm. He makes candy down by the the penny fountain. He makes candy <laughs> down by the penny fountain. You know where you throw the pennies in to wish. So I posted something on my, my public Facebook page. And I said, I personally love Planeswalkers as cards and magic, but I also wonder how many how common of an opinion that is. What do you guys think? Have Planeswalkers been a positive addition to the game? Are they too hard to deal with? Let me hear what you think. And I'm actually going to post it here so you guys can also vote. Get rid of that. I think that should be a good link. What's your vote, man? Planeswalkers are great or Planeswalker ruin them? I voted Planeswalkers are great. Oh, did you? Yep, I did. Wow, 88% think they're great and only 12% think they ruined the game. That's actually a pretty sizable difference. I didn't think it would be that. I didn't think that discrepancy would be that large. 
Back in the day, people hated on them a lot. Like when they first came out. I think people were pretty much just like, wait, what's going on? What's happening right now? Why are they targeting Aura of Silence? Why is Aura of Silence highlighted? I don't know what's going on right now. Oh, the Ashen? Wait, no, I have no idea what's happening right now. Wow, these are all three fours now, huh? Oh, is that all? What is even happening? Wait, Mike found his dad, or was that his occupation before he went to get cigarettes? <laughs> what a birthday present if he did. Hey, Mike, you heard it was your 11th birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, now I'm 11. Okay. Well, it's up to you. You can be however age, however old you want to be. You're young at heart. Except I've been smoking for 40 years. I've been smoking for 40 years. We should go Vampiric Tutor for that that uh, austere command again. Yeah, that'd be good. Maybe get the Supreme <clears throat> Verdict. Ooh, use Luminarch Ascension's ability? Yeah, for sure. Thanks for asking. All right, we're going to the main phase now. Maybe we'll draw a Supreme Verdict. Is there a Supreme Verdict in the deck? Yep. Oh, God, can you imagine? That would be actually insane. All right. Wait. Wait. That was at the end of the turn? Oh, we're all dead. Oh, the game's over then. Okay. I thought that was the end of TJ Jesse's turn. Oh, God. Well... Twenty nine times assuming four if they have a land. Um I think that's gonna do it. I'm really uncomfortable with how this game went. Cheeseburgers in paradise, paradise. On the bright side, we can go get some food now. It is on the bright Don't side. forget, guys, meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. 15% off. Free shipping, free returns. If you guys need underwear, which you know you do, you really can't find a better deal. You gotta go to the bathroom really bad. No joke, know. they're actually super comfortable as well. I, I interrupted Mike leave. saying he has to go to the bathroom real bad. Just to bring you those those meundies thoughts is that necessary now you're just showing off wait who's he targeting oh otori chateau chateau like shat william shatner baby shark doo -doo 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 -doo. why would you do that because someone mentioned it mama shark do 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 you're a mama shark. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, Avison. I'm going to concede. I'm going to call it a day. Oh, wait. There's things on the stack. Did the game crash? No, they're still doing things. No, it's only if you leave. Okay. All right. So, anyway, this was the deck we played. Um, <clears throat> I do like Cyclonic Rift. I just feel like that should be in the deck, right? Yeah, card's busted. Card is busted. So we're going to Cyclonic Rift. What wasn't great? What did we brutalize? as like, nah, it's not really. I wasn't a huge fan of Sphere Resistance, but maybe it's good. No, I kind of like that. It's only like, it only works with like three cards, though, is my problem. It works with your general, though. You can just play your general anytime and it works. You mean your commander? Yeah, commander, yes. Hmm. I'm going to get him to do it. I'm going to get him to say <laughs> it. Never. What about No Mercy? You care about No Mercy? I don't. Yeah, I also don't love that it's double black because we have very few cards that are double black. Uh, it's basically Sanguine Bond and this one. So having to get double black. I also like if the thing about Commander is like if the creatures are dealing you damage, they're, you're probably dead. Like there's very there's a lot of situations where like they can just kill you with this. 
I would actually cut this. I think it's fine. I don't even care about Airbus that much, but maybe. Don't care about Airbus. Like I think this deck is actually. I'd rather just play like Friction Arena, if you if you want that effect. If you're looking for that effect, sure. Or even like Argyle's Bloodfast. Yeah, it's cheaper to play. But I don't think you really need it. Is the thing like you have a lot of uh, Enchantresses? Wasn't there a card that? Wasn't there a card that was good that we were like, oh, we should have this in here? Night of Souls Betrayal because it combos with humility. I do like a Knight of Souls Betrayal. I think that's probably really good. Plus, there's a lot of strategies where it's just really good against. Uh, and it doesn't actually hurt you that much. Because I don't think you're actually winning with creatures that often, right? No. Do we have a way to just gain life, though? Like, what are we triggering Sanguine Bond and Exquisite Blood with? Like, we get them both on the board. What's our trigger? I don't know. Like, all we need to do is gain a life, right? I do like something like Eternal Witness as well, just to get back. Oh, there's already one on the deck. Is there? Yep. Perfect. See? That's exactly what I'm thinking. Yeah, I like Eternal Witness because then you can just get back your Replenish. I think Replenish is one of the strongest cards in the deck. Um, I'm really not a fan of Karmic Justice. I think the card just does nothing so many times. Like, it's just not worth running it. Interestingly enough, like, a lot of times when they're going to destroy a non-creature permanent you control, they're probably going to kill this first. Right. So it's usually just going to be a one-for-one. One. I can get behind that. I, I, I'll agree I've with never that. been impressed by that card. I think you might want more Wrath effects. Yeah, I can see adding, like, Wrath. <clears throat> oh, Green Warden of Marasa is not bad. I actually don't hate that. Are we making enough mana to Genesis Wave? I never felt I like we had enough so. mana to Genesis Wave. We could barely even get to Omniscience. Right, I agree. And, like, we had Sarah Sanctum at one point even as well. Like, the deck, is, the deck isn't actually making a ton of mana. No. 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 What about Sacred Mace or Solitary Confinement? Um, I don't know if you have a way out of Solitary Confinement. I feel like we did not draw a lot of tutors in those games. Is blue ley line good? I don't think so. Blue it's ley right. line comes into play, and like you can play things at flash speed, right? Yeah, everything says flash. Oh, Leyline has a big Oh, I don't love it. It's okay. Are there any Leylines I don't have any of? So I have Leyline of the Void. Is there not a, is there not two cycles of Leylines? There's just some Leylines and some don't? Oh, Leyline of Lightning is both red. Oh, Leyline of the Void was just a reprint. Okay. Yeah. So you have the original cycle, and then you have a new cycle, but some of the new cycle was just reprinted, right? So, like, you have Life Force and Vitality, and then you have Lightning and Punishment, and then you have Of the Void, Of the Void, then you have Singularity and Anticipation, and then you have, uh, where's the, Meek and Sanctity. So, like, there's, a, there's two ley lines for every color except for black, which only has one, which is pretty ridiculously silly. Um. Yeah. Also, moat would would have been nice. Just only one more card. Just giving you a heads up. <clears throat> Texas might be upsetting George. George. I don't, Matthew Ori. I don't even watch football. <laughs> Opalescence. What did you say? I'm missing a card. Don't need one more card. Or oh god, cards. it just cut something. I think it was moat. Oh god, I hate that it does that. Each other non aura enchantment is a creature in addition to this. Is this is opalescence good here? I think so. I feel like it just turns on their removal, though. That's my only concern. Yeah, but... It, like, if they make your moat a 4-4, then they're just like, oh, cool, I can ultimate price your moat. I think making your creatures... Making your enchantments yeah, I think creatures you wait are, to play that until, like, you win, though. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. Your creatures chosen color of flying can't attack you. Make it, yeah, I don't care about that all this. Oh, is Freaka good? 
All right, instructive as long as you do it's yeah, it's never gonna it's never gonna be online. So it's just a five five. It's just an enchantment for three. Excel creature card. The problem, no. See, here's the thing. The problem is we have eleven creatures in our deck, so we're only gonna be giving them creatures. We're never gonna exile creatures from our own graveyard. Yeah, that's not very good. Isn't there a like a what does three wishes do? Maybe it's not called Three Wishes. What's the card that like searches for three cards? Oh, well, there's a ring that does that. No. No. Three dreams. Search your library for up to three aura cards with different names, reveal them, put them in your hands, and shuffle your library. Oh, so that, that seems good. good. How many auras do we have though? Trace. Oh, auras. Oh, yeah, if it was enchantments, it'd be totally awesome. But auras makes it a little rough. Otherwise, yeah, it would no. be pretty good. It's it's nine mana to tutor for three different cards. Nine mana to tutor for three different cards. Uh, no, we're, 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 I was thinking of three dreams. I would not play Jester's Cap. It's not seem worth it. What do you mean? One card? Or two, right? No, we're at 90, 98. Does it count that? Or, or is it 99? Nine, this is 98 and this is one. Oh, okay. All right. So we just need one card. Consecrated Sphinx. What's the... Yeah, that's not going to... Consecrated Sphinx. God, I'm okay with it. Um, What's the card that, like, lets you put endless... Endless Horizons? That's Planes, right? So you yeah. Planes removed from the game and then shuffle your library with the finger up to you. It's like the crappy version of... Uh, Why don't we have land tax in the deck? I guess because we don't have any basics. Yeah, don't have that many basics. We have Academy Rector already. Oh, Plea for Guidance. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. Six mana search library for two enchantment cards revealed and put them in your head. That seems great. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah, please seems real good. Yeah, let's grab a plea. I think this is probably as close as, like, this is actually, of course, Replenish is already in the deck. We already went over this. Did we? Maybe I was thinking, no, I'm thinking of uh, Academy Rector also in the deck. So, yeah, Replenish and Academy Rector are already in here. Yeah, this is actually, I think this is, the only thing I don't like about Wild Growth is that it only makes green. And we already have Fertile Ground, Trace of Abundance. <laughs> And both of these guys. I think this is actually fine. I actually kind of like this a lot better. Um, I think we get rid of some of the cards that weren't really effective and we replace them with other tutors and more ways to actually survive, like Wrath of God or uh, Knight of Souls Betrayal, which combos nicely with Humility. I wanted to play Humility a lot, but then there were times where I just still had 1-1, one, one, so I was like, oh, I'm still going to take like 6-7 damage. So if you just play both of these, then it's like, well, nothing survives, so that's kind of cool. And then you still have Replenish or, you know... Um, open the vaults to get them back so yeah but thank you so much Cassius really appreciate the, the opportunity to play the deck I think it was pretty sweet uh, even though we didn't win I was still felt like the, uh, the the combinations that you were able to do and like trying to amass all the enchantments was pretty fun so definitely be sure to uh, to check me out on Twitch and Patreon you can find the links in the description below if you guys want to have your own deck critique there's definitely information on how to do that in the description and on my Twitch page uh, like I said meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. you can also check out Aaron Kane custom deck boxes his work is incredible and uh, link is both in my Twitch profile and in my YouTube description and you get 10% off with the promo code Frank so be sure to check that out Eidolon of Blossoms is also in the list it's right here and uh, thank you guys so much for watching really appreciate it same as like and subscribe buttons I will check you out next time <laughs>